She heard the other day there were not very many Christian people left in Jerusalem. They passed a very strict law in Jerusalem, or it's in the process right now. It has been for quite a few years that you would be penalized if you proselyted their people. And now they're making it where it's against the law. So a Christian there is just a visitor and can't do missionary work or teach or anything of that nature. Kind of sad, isn't it? But, hey, there are some places in this country, if you're really teaching the truth, it doesn't buy too well, you know. It, it really doesn't go over real good. Anyone else have a question or comment? Jerusalem is still a place we must watch. It is our barometer of the end times. And as I stated, about the hour that I began this, uh, this particular meeting began, the announcement was to come forth. You see, if Netanyahu is charged, probably his government will not stand, which is, that, that we have to take a close look at. Who would that bring back? Would it bring back Perez? Probably. And then you're back to one of the two original heads when the two eagles were there. Interesting. Watch it. Anyone else have a question or comment? Okay. Yes. Pastor Mary, this may be a kind of a silly question, but something came to mind. Um, when, when God created the six-day creation and sent them out to reproduce and whatever, um, he just didn't turn them loose without any instructions, did he not? Oh, no, no. They had common sense. We were wondering why, how in the world that they got to the point where they, you know, all the, all the uh, other gods um, seemed to me like he kind of, could have kind of done something about that before it ever got started. <coughs> Well, you, he gives everybody, that's, this, this earth age is a testing ground to see who people will choose, okay? Our father or other gods. And it's kind of, you know, um, it's, it's kind of nature of man. He did not give the Gentile um, the, perhaps the strict guidance as far as genealogy is concerned. But he did teach them. Satan was already with them. He, he was here on earth. But it's real easy for people to digress if their main interest is hunting or fishing, um, which to them, that was their livelihood. And um, not so much um, uh, uh, the religious aspects of it, but it's real easy for the unlearned to switch off into gods. In other words, they, do you realize that they do this because they want to do what's right? In other words, they're ignorant of God and his salvation. So they say, well, let's do God a favor and give him one of my good chickens, you know, and that are to work, you know, so they throw him a chicken and sacrifice it to, you know, but they don't, they don't know what God they're talking about, down through the years I'm talking about. Thank God for missionary work, and most places they do, but you don't have to leave the Americas to still see chickens sacrificed, you know. It, it happens. You all know what I'm talking about. You've seen it reported even on television in Central America and so on and so forth. And one church even allows it kind of to get the people to come to church. I'm not judging them. Hey, whatever your thing is, I guess you do it. <laughs> the question is, how do I, she gets a question a lot, how do I know that man didn't just write this Bible? And uh, the, the, it's real simple if, if they will listen. Psalms 22, Christ's words on the cross, e asha I'm sorry, Ila um, ila lama shabbatene. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He was quoting and teaching that 22nd Psalm, and it tells a thousand years before exactly what would happen on that day, even down to what the priest Caiaphas would speak from his mouth. 
And there were so many things that have come to pass exactly as they're written. No man could do that. And really, a person that does not believe that it's the word of God, is, they're in trouble. They really are, because that's the ultimate is they're actually questioning God himself. And he doesn't like that. No, I wouldn't leave it alone. I would at least make a try to say, well, how could you say, you know, that it's written thousands of years before it comes to pass exactly as it's written. And quite frankly, in my younger years as a minister, I was teaching that the one world system would come into being, you know, in, in this generation. And that was 40 years or more before the fact. And then the new world order is even on television today. So there are many things like that you can draw from if you think on it, meditate on it, but plant the seed. If it doesn't grow, hey, bless them. You know, we can't force someone to listen, and we, nor should we want to, quite frankly. It's too bad. Most people that are touched by God enjoy making a deeper study in His Word. Others, I'm sorry, you're not going to... They're not probably going to listen to you. Anytime you make a deeper study in God's word, it isn't long till you know only he could do it. In other words, I could go into depth concerning acrostics and things of that nature, which have the sacred name hidden example in the book of Esther or the beautiful acrostics of the 37th Psalm. But a person like that wouldn't understand what you were talking about. So don't go too deep, but... Hearing God's Word with understanding will change your life. We hope you have enjoyed studying God's Word here on the Shepherd's Chapel Family Bible Study Hour with Pastor Arnold Murray. If you would like to receive more information concerning Shepherd's Chapel, you may request our free introductory offer. Our introductory offer contains the Mark of the Beast audio tape, our monthly newsletter with a written Bible study, a tape catalog, and a list of written reference works available through Shepherd's Chapel. To request our free introductory offer by telephone, call 800-643-4645, 24 hours a day. You may also request our introductory offer by writing to Shepherd's Chapel, Post Office Box 416, Gravit, Arkansas, 72736. Once again, that's Shepherd's Chapel, Post Office Box 416, Gravit, Arkansas, 72736. We invite you to join us for the next in-depth Bible study each weekday at this same time. Thank you for watching today's program, and God bless you.